Hey there everyone, how's it going? We all feeling happy? I'm feeling happy. Let's continue playing Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. As Zappy, the now level 2 Draconian Wizard. Let's get on that. Right. When we last left Zappy, our intrepid new hero, he was about to descend down to level 2 after exploring level 1. Just noticed that there was a spot up there I hadn't explored last time. So let's go have a quick look at that. And lo and behold, there was nothing there. Oh yes, I'm also very hungry. Let's go down and try to start killing stuff. There's a kobold. We all know by now that kobolds aren't very nice for eating. So... Uh, Let's just throw some lightning bolts at it. Lightning bolts, or rather magic dart. I don't want to waste too much of my magic in killing it, because the more I cast spells, the more I'm going to get hungry. And I certainly don't want to starve to death, at least on this level. So let's let him go closer by pressing S. By pressing S, you wait a turn and let all the enemies do their thing. It's good if you want to wait until they're in an appropriate range. Let's try out this Spear of Reaching I picked up last time. Let's evoke my Uncursed Spear of Reaching with um, Shift V. Press G to select the weapon and then I reach to attack and I closely miss the Kobold. Oh well, let's stab him then. You'll also notice that I'm getting experience points as I kill enemies. I'm currently 78% of my way to the next level. And these are the skills I'm currently training in. I should have actually turned off dodging and stealth right when I started to play because those abilities aren't terribly useful while I'm a mage. In fact, being a Draconian gives me a minus one aptitude to both dodging and stealth, so I don't foresee myself doing much of that this time through. Since I picked up my spear, I've started to train in pole arms. I think since I punched something on the first level, I'm starting to train in unknown combat. And since I trained any combat skill, I've also started to learn fighting. I don't have those abilities yet. But if I continue training them up, then I will. Wait a second. Let's have a look at the spell schools I'm learning. Uh, yeah, let's just leave them the way they are. I don't mind training in all the schools of magic. Experienced players are probably shouting at me right now, saying what the hell am I doing? Wasting all my experience points on useless schools of magic, but... Go Dynafire. I play this game the way I want to play. It's probably why I suck at it so much. There's a snake. Snakes drop edible meat, but they also poison me. Let's... oh jeez, I didn't mean to do that. Let's zap the snake with our abilities. So let's cast magic dart. Or try to cast magic dart. Wonderful. Kill the snake. Conjuration skills increase level 2 and I've reached level 3. Congratulations Zappy. Since we're a wizard we're going to increase our intelligence this time. And lucky for us it dropped a corpse. Let's butcher it for its meat and then eat the meat. Now we're just hungry. Since I miscast a spell a little while back. Miscast magic dart, yes. Very lightly contaminated with residual magic. I'm, I've now got a glow around me. Which means that my stealth skill is... Now even more useless than useless. 
So let's kill this kobold before it has a chance to notice us and wake up from its sleep. Ah, drop poisonous, useless meat. Ah, kobolds, an annoying enemy. They don't even <laughs> drop anything useful. No, bugger. I'm hungry, but there's another snake down there. I think I want to wait. Now we'll start pelting this other snake with darts. The exclamation mark means that he doesn't want to fight and is running away. I do want to fight. And since I've got a ranged attack, I can pelt him with my magic missiles. Magic dart. Lightning bolt, magic dart. Magic missile, who cares? Generic low level magic skill which I can throw out pretty effortlessly. Ah, I've now got two potions of the same type. I've got two silvery potions. Let's figure out one of the po what the potions are. So let's quaff by pressing Q and then P for the silvery potions. I feel more clever all of a sudden. A potion of brilliance. That is awesome. It temporarily increases my intelligence. And it gives me more magic points to use. It doesn't last for long though, so let's try to get the most out of it while we can. And the way we get the most out of our abilities is we pick fights with stuff. Bat, die bat. Die... I, the snake is the highest priority target in this room. So let's kill that. Great, now the snake's running away. But I slaughter it anyway, and I'm now level 4. Well done, Zappy. Zappy hopefully will go a little bit further than the poor doomed Sir Fred. I'll try to complete this level by the time this video is over and then hopefully pick it up next time on level 3. Yes, I'm speaking way too soon and since I've said it I've effectively jinxed myself and will most likely die on this level. Um, picked up meat which is potentially sickening. Let's test our luck. Yes, I want to eat a chunk of goblin flesh. It tastes terrible, but it's otherwise harmless. Yay for us. Oh look, a ring. Let's pick up the ring. We've got several duplicate scrolls now. So let's see if one of our duplicate scrolls is the scroll of identify. We'll start off with scroll names Vesir Pervisev, whatever. It's a spell which it's a scroll which can be used on an item. This is promising. Let's use the scroll on our scratched iron ring. It's a cursed ring of teleportation, and it was a scroll of identify. That's awesome. Cursed ring of teleportation. Let's learn a bit more about this. Alright, it's a ring. It, this ring occasionally exerts its power to randomly translocate its wearer to another place. It can be deliberately activated for the same effect. It has a curse placed on it and it weighs around one standard unit of measurement for Dungeon Brawl. I don't think I'll put it on just yet. I might just try to... Oh look, there's another scroll of Identify. Back up to two scrolls of Identify. Oh, what's up? What was I going to say? Yes, I don't want to wear it just now, but I'll maybe use it if I'm in a bit of a pickle and need a fast way to get out of something. Yeah, wizards quite effective, um, especially draconian wizards since they've got more magic than, oh sorry, more defense than other wizards. So he's probably going to do a little bit better than Sir Fred. So what do I do? I press my luck fighting all kinds of creatures which can poison me. 
So how about we just wait around until our poison goes away? Don't want to take any further damage and then die to the poison. Okie dokie, level 2 is almost fully explored. We haven't run into any names monsters yet, which is awesome. I'm so glad and happy for that. And that's the entirety of level 2. Zappy gains two levels and is 45% on the way on his way to the next level. We'll wait until we're oh, die giant. And we're hungry again. I won't drag this movie on terribly long. And I guess I'll end it here. As usual, thanks for watching and taking a vague interest in these silly little videos. Hopefully I'll see you next time, when the adventures of Zappy continue. Goodbye everyone.